So it seems like 2020 just decided to throw another curveball at us because I mean, as I'm sure you guys all know, as far as world news goes, 2020 has just been like a, a roller coaster so far. You know, the year started off with speculations of World War III starting, of course, Kobe Bryant. There was the wildfires in Australia. There was coronavirus, which is still happening. It's actually now worse than it's ever been in the United States. You know, they're, they're reporting 50, almost 60,000 cases a day now. So that's not even over with yet. And now, you know, why not add on to that list? Why not just make 2020 as ridiculous as possible, really? Why not make the president of the United States, Jesus himself, why not make Kanye West the president of the United States? Just to cap off 2020, I guess. So if you just have no idea what I'm talking about here, obviously in the United States, you know, 2020 is an election year, and there's obviously the two main candidates, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, who are most likely one of them is going to be president, unless you just see Kanye West taking over the entire presidential race. And with that being said, last night on Twitter, Kanye West decided to throw himself into the presidential race. Kanye West decided he's going to be the next president of the United States. So here's the tweet where he pretty much announced this entire thing. You know, he broke the news to everybody. As you can see right now, it's sitting with over a million likes and almost half a million retweets. So this tweet just, I mean, it, it blew up. It was everywhere on Twitter. He's still currently number one trending, actually. People or tweeting, you know, hashtag Kanye 2020. In this tweet from Kanye says, we must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision, and building our future. I am running for president of the United States, hashtag 2020 vision. And like I said, this pretty much immediately skyrocketed to number one on trending. Basically, everyone was talking about it. Elon Musk replied to this tweet saying, you have my full support. So I guess Kanye has the backing of Elon Musk on this whole campaign. You know, maybe we're gonna have Vice President Elon Musk in office. This picture that Kanye recently posted on Twitter, this might actually be a preview of the next Oval Office. I mean, that would be a sight to see. President Kanye and Vice President Elon. Now, with that being said, there was some people that legitimately took this just extremely seriously. You know, all the replies were flooded with like President Kanye and stuff like that from people just like backing him up and obviously trolling. And then you would have these people that I guess just don't understand how the internet works and just don't get that 90% of the stuff people say is sarcastic, who would make stuff like what you're seeing on the screen right now, which is an entire almost 20 tweet thread, which says everything wrong with Kanye West and why you should not vote for him in the 2020 election. And like, I made sure, like I said, this is almost a 20 tweet thread. Someone took like probably almost an hour out of their day to put together a thread of all the, I guess, horrible things Kanye has done. As if like the dude's just a, a genuine threat to democracy. You know, in a couple months come November, he's just going to take over over the entire country. It's just gonna be dictator Kanye. And there was all these people that would be like, block me if you plan on voting for Kanye West. And it was just like the most ridiculous stuff I've ever seen. I, I mean, I can promise you right now, if Kanye goes through with this and just tries to become president this year, he is not getting over 5% of the popular vote. It's just not happening. Especially with the fact that he can't be considered Republican or Democrat. Not to mention, it seems like a lot of these people on Twitter are just completely forgetting the fact that the electoral college exists. They just think the popular vote is all that matters. As if the Electoral College is just going to be, you know, hands down for Kanye West being the next president. It's just going to be a unanimous vote. So definitely let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Do you actually think Kanye West is going to be our next president? By next year, do you guys just see Kanye West running the country? Let me know down in the comments. Because, I mean, it's definitely pretty far-fetched. It's, it's pretty far out there. And like I said, especially with the fact that the Electoral College exists, are they just going to love the idea of Kanye? Kanye running the country. And with that being said, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.